Have you ever noticed your pee looking foamy? It could be a sign of proteinuria, a condition where too much protein leaks from your kidneys into your urine. But don't worry, it's not all bad news. Proteinuria, the presence of excessive protein in the urine, can be a cause for concern. This condition often indicates underlying kidney problems, and early intervention is crucial to prevent further damage. Let's delve deeper into proteinuria. Exploring its causes, potential consequences, treatment options, and preventative measures. Causes of proteinuria, glomerular diseases. These diseases directly affect the glomeruli, tiny filters in the kidneys responsible for separating waste products from the blood while retaining essential proteins. Examples include diabetic nephropathy, kidney damage caused by diabetes. Glomerulonephritis inflammation of the glomeruli and eager nephropathy, an autoimmune disease affecting the glomeruli. Tubular diseases, sometimes, the problem lies in the tubules, which reabsorb necessary components from the filtered blood back into the body. Diseases like polycystic kidney disease formation of cysts in the kidneys and interstitial nephritis inflammation of the tissue surrounding the tubules can lead to proteinuria. High blood pressure, uncontrolled hypertension can damage the delicate structures within the kidneys, causing protein to leak into the urine. Heart disease, Congestive heart failure can increase pressure in the blood vessels leading to the kidneys, promoting protein leakage. Autoimmune diseases, conditions like lupus can affect various organs, including the kidneys, and lead to proteinuria. Certain medications, some pain relievers and antibiotics can temporarily increase protein in the urine, especially at high doses or with prolonged use. Consequences of untreated proteinuria, Progression of kidney disease. Proteinuria is a significant risk factor for worse unin kidney function and potentially leading to kidney failure. Increased cardiovascular risk. Proteinuria is often associated with high blood pressure, which can further strain the kidneys and increase the risk of heart attack and stroke. Electrolyte imbalances. Protein in the urine can carry electrolytes like potassium, leading to deficiencies and potential complications. Increased risk of infections. Protein in the urine can decrease the body's ability to fight infections. Diagnosis and treatment. Urinalysis. A simple dipstick test can detect protein in the urine. Urine protein to creatinine ratio UPCR. This test measures the amount of protein excreted relative to creatinine, a waste product eliminated at a steady rate. Blood tests. Blood tests can assess kidney function, electrolyte levels, and underlying conditions like diabetes. Imaging tests, ultrasounds, CT scans, or MRIs may be used to visualize the kidneys and identify any abnormalities. Treatment for proteinuria focuses on managing the underlying cause. Maintain a healthy weight. Excess weight puts strain on the kidneys. Manage blood pressure, regularly monitor, and keep blood pressure within a healthy range. Control blood sugar. If you have diabetes, carefully manage your blood sugar levels to prevent kidney damage. Hydration, drink plenty of fluids to help the kidneys function properly. Limit processed foods, reduce your intake of processed foods high in sodium and saturated fat, both of which can be detrimental to kidney health. Limit alcohol and tobacco, these substances can damage the kidneys. Regular checkups, schedule regular checkups with your doctor including screenings for kidney disease, especially if you have risk factors. Early detection is key. The sooner proteinuria is diagnosed and addressed, the better the chance of preventing or slowing down kidney damage. Individualized approach. Treatment for proteinuria varies depending on the underlying cause and the severity of the condition. Lifestyle changes. Making healthy lifestyle choices is crucial for managing proteinuria and promoting overall kidney health. Proteinuria itself often doesn't cause any noticeable symptoms, especially in early stages. This is why regular checkups and screenings for kidney disease are important. However, as proteinuria progresses, or if it's caused by a more advanced condition, some symptoms may develop, including foamy or bubbly urine. This is the most common symptom of proteinuria. 
Excess protein disrupts the surface tension of urine, causing bubbles to form when it hits the toilet water. These bubbles may disappear quickly or linger for a while, depending on the severity. Swelling, proteinuria disrupts the delicate balance of fluids in the body. Normally, the kidneys efficiently remove excess fluids and waste products through urine. When protein leaks into the urine, it attracts fluids, causing them to build up in the tissues instead of being eliminated. This build-up leads to swelling, typically in the hands, feet, ankles, face especially around the eyes, abdomen. Frequent urination at night nocturia, the body tries to get rid of excess fluids accumulated overnight. Healthy kidneys produce urine continuously throughout the day and night. However, the amount of urine production increases during the day when you consume fluids. Night, urine output naturally decreases as you're not consuming fluids. When the kidneys are struggling due to proteinuria, they may have difficulty filtering fluids efficiently. This can lead to increased overall urination throughout the day and night. Shortness of breath, proteinuria can lead to fluid buildup in the lungs, a condition known as pulmonary edema. This excess fluid makes it difficult for the lungs to expand fully, causing shortness of breath especially during exertion. Fatigue and weakness, healthy kidneys play a vital role in removing waste products and toxins from the blood. When proteinuria damages the kidneys, these waste products can accumulate, leading to a condition called uremia. Uremia can cause fatigue, weakness, and a general feeling of malaise. Additionally, proteinuria can sometimes contribute to anemia, a deficiency in red blood cells, which can further worsen fatigue. Nausea and vomiting. As mentioned earlier, the accumulation of waste products in the blood due to impaired kidney function can trigger nausea and vomiting. These symptoms can significantly impact your quality of life and appetite. Loss of appetite. The feeling of nausea and a general sense of malaise often associated with proteinuria can lead to a decreased desire to eat. This can become a concern if it persists, as proper nutrition is crucial for overall health and kidney function. Muscle cramps at night, electrolytes and minerals in the blood that play a vital role in various bodily functions. Including muscle function, proteinuria can disrupt the delicate balance of electrolytes, leading to imbalances that manifest as muscle cramps, particularly at night when your body is at rest. Puffiness around the eyes piri or buttle edema, fluid retention is a common consequence of proteinuria. This excess fluid can accumulate in various tissues, including the delicate tissues around the eyes, this puffiness is most noticeable upon waking in the mornings and can subside throughout the day. Dietary strategies, moderate protein intake. A well-designed low-protein diet can significantly reduce the amount of protein your kidneys need to process, thereby lessening proteinuria. However, it's crucial to find the right balance to avoid malnutrition. Prioritize plant-based proteins, focus on whole, unprocessed plant-based sources like fruits, vegetables, and whole grains. These provide essential nutrients without overloading your kidneys with protein. Minimize animal protein and processed foods, limit red meat, processed meats, and dairy products as they are typically higher in protein and sodium. Processed foods often contain hidden sodium and unhealthy fats, further burdening your system. Embrace fiber, Fiber helps regulate digestion and can play a role in managing protein levels. Sources include fruits, vegetables, and whole grains. Here are 10 fruits to reduce proteinuria. 10. Antioxidant powerhouse. Berries are brimming with antioxidants, particularly anthocyanins. These compounds combat free radicals, harmful molecules that can damage kidney cells. By neutralizing these free radicals, berries can help protect your kidneys and promote overall cellular health. 2. Fiber for optimal function. Dietary fiber plays a crucial role in digestion and nutrient absorption. In the context of proteinuria, adequate fiber intake helps regulate protein metabolism. This translates to less protein being filtered through the kidneys, thereby reducing the strain on these vital organs. 3. Low protein content. A key aspect of managing proteinuria is moderation. Berries are a fantastic choice because they are naturally low in protein. 
This allows you to enjoy their benefits without exceeding your daily protein limits. 4. A spectrum of choices. Mother Nature provides a delightful variety of berries to choose from. Blueberries, raspberries, strawberries, cranberries, the options are plentiful. This allows you to explore different flavors and textures, keeping your diet exciting and enjoyable. 5. Culinary versatility. Berries are incredibly versatile. Enjoy them fresh as a snack, add them to yogurt or oatmeal for breakfast, incorporate them into smoothies for a refreshing drink, or even bake them into muffins or healthy desserts. 9. Apples Fiber Powerhouse Apples are a fantastic source of dietary fiber, which plays a vital role in digestion and nutrient absorption. In the context of proteinuria, fiber helps regulate protein metabolism, reducing the workload on your kidneys. Essential Vitamin Boost Apples are a treasure trove of essential vitamins, particularly vitamin C, which supports a healthy immune system and promotes overall well-being. Low protein content, with a negligible amount of protein, apples fit perfectly into a protein moderate diet for kidney health. Number 8 Cruciferous Crusaders, Broccoli, Cauliflower, and Brussels Sprouts. Vitamin and Mineral Powerhouse, these cruciferous vegetables are packed with essential vitamins and minerals, including vitamin K, vitamin C, and potassium, all crucial for optimal health. Fiber for function. Just like apples, cruciferous vegetables are a good source of fiber, aiding digestion and supporting a healthy gut microbiome. Kidney-friendly choice. Their low protein and sodium content make them ideal for those managing proteinuria. 7. The leafy green legends, kale, spinach, and Swiss chard. Low protein and sodium stars. Leafy greens shine with minimal protein and sodium content, making them a perfect choice for a kidney-friendly diet. Essential vitamin and mineral bounty. These leafy powerhouses are brimming with essential vitamins and minerals, including vitamins A, C, and K, as well as potassium and folate, all vital for overall health. 6. Whole Grains The Sustaining Squad Brown Rice Quinoa Whole Wheat Bread Sustained energy source, whole grains provide complex carbohydrates, offering a slow and steady release of energy throughout the day, keeping you feeling energized. Fiber Champions Just like other options on this list. Whole grains are a good source of fiber, promoting digestive health and aiding nutrient absorption. Moderate protein content Whole grains offer a moderate amount of protein, allowing you to incorporate them into your diet while maintaining a protein-controlled approach. Number 5 Sweet Potatoes – The Nutritious Base Complex Carbohydrate Delight Sweet potatoes are a fantastic source of complex carbohydrates, providing sustained energy for your body's needs. Essential Vitamin Arsenal – These vibrant vegetables are loaded with essential vitamins including vitamin R in the form of beta-carotene, which is crucial for vision health and immune function. Kidney-friendly, sweet potatoes are naturally low in protein and sodium, making them a perfect base for healthy and kidney-supportive meals. 4. Peas The occasional protein provider technically a legume. Moderate protein While peas are technically legumes, they offer a moderate amount of protein compared to other legumes like lentils or beans. This allows for occasional inclusion in your diet. Fiber for function. Just like other options on this list, peas are a good source of fiber, supporting digestion and gut health. Kidney-friendly considerations, due to their higher protein content compared to other options. Discuss appropriate portion sizes with your registered dietitian to ensure they fit your individualized protein needs. 3. Bell Peppers – The Vibrant Vitamin C Boost Low protein and sodium stars, bell peppers join the ranks of low protein and sodium vegetables, making them ideal for a kidney-friendly diet. Vitamin C Powerhouse These colorful vegetables are brimming with vitamin C, a potent antioxidant that protects cells from damage and supports a healthy immune system. Kidney-friendly choice Their low protein and sodium content make them a perfect addition to your meals without compromising your kidney health goals. 2. Avocados, the creamy and nutritious delight. 
Healthy Fat Champion Avocados are a unique fruit rich in healthy fats, which are essential for nutrient absorption and contribute to a feeling of satiety. Fiber for function Like many other options on this list, avocados provide a good amount of fiber, promoting digestive, health, and gut function. A range of essential vitamins Avocados offer a range of essential vitamins, including vitamins K, C, and E, contributing to overall well-being. 1. Mushrooms, the versatile umami hero. Low protein and sodium. Mushrooms are another low protein and sodium champion, making them a versatile ingredient for kidney-friendly dishes. Flavor enhancer. Mushrooms add a delightful savory depth, known as umami, to your meals, keeping your taste buds happy. Early detection strategies, the good news. You can take proactive steps to safeguard your kidney health and potentially prevent or slow the progression of proteinuria. Maintain a healthy weight. Excess weight puts a strain on the kidneys. Aim for a healthy weight through a balanced diet and regular exercise. Manage blood pressure. Regularly monitor your blood pressure and work with your doctor to keep it within a healthy range. Control blood sugar. If you have diabetes, meticulously manage your blood sugar levels to prevent kidney damage. Hydration is key. Drink plenty of fluids throughout the day to help the kidneys function optimally. Aim for water as your primary beverage. Limit processed foods. Processed foods are often high in sodium and saturated fat, both of which can be detrimental to kidney health. Opt for fresh, whole foods whenever possible. Limit alcohol and tobacco. Excessive alcohol and tobacco use can damage the kidneys. Consider reducing or eliminating them from your lifestyle. Long-term management is key in proteinuria. Think of your kidneys as a complex filtration system. When protein leaks into your urine due to proteinuria, it signifies a potential breach in this filtration process. Benefits of long-term management for proteinuria include Reduced risk of kidney damage Consistent management helps prevent further damage to the delicate filters in your kidneys, slowing down the progression of kidney disease. Improved blood pressure control. Many causes of proteinuria, like high blood pressure, benefit from long-term management, which promotes overall cardiovascular health. Slower decline in kidney function. Early intervention can significantly slow down the decline in kidney function potentially delaying or even preventing the need for dialysis. Improved quality of life. By minimizing proteinuria and managing underlying conditions, you can experience fewer symptoms and maintain a more active and fulfilling life. Your long-term management plan for reduced proteinuria. 1. Partner with your doctor. Your doctor is your primary healthcare partner. Schedule regular checkups to monitor your protein levels and discuss treatment options. Don't hesitate to ask questions and voice any concerns you may have. 2. Develop a personalized plan. A one-size-fits-all approach doesn't work for everyone. Work with your doctor to create a plan tailored to your specific needs and health status. Here are some potential components. Medications, specific medications, like ACE inhibitors or ABS can help manage blood pressure and reduce protein leakage in the urine. Dietary adjustments. A low protein diet may be recommended to decrease the amount of protein your kidneys need to filter, thereby minimizing proteinuria. Blood sugar control. If you have diabetes, meticulously managing your blood sugar levels is crucial to prevent kidney damage and proteinuria. Weight management. Excess weight puts additional strain on the kidneys Aiming for a healthy weight through a balanced diet and regular exercise can be beneficial. Smoking cessation. Smoking can exacerbate kidney problems and worsen proteinuria. Quitting smoking is a significant step towards better kidney health. Regular monitoring. Regular monitoring is vital to assess the effectiveness of your management plan. This might include urinalysis. Regular urine tests can track the levels of protein in your urine. Blood tests. Blood tests can assess kidney function and monitor other parameters like blood sugar and electrolytes. Imaging tests. In some cases, imaging studies like ultrasounds or CT scans may be used to check for abnormalities in the kidneys. Thanks for joining us on this deep dive into proteinuria.
We hope this information empowers you to take charge of your kidney health. Remember, early detection is key. Schedule regular checkups with your doctor and discuss any concerns. You may have about proteinuria or kidney health in general. Don't forget to hit the subscribe and share thank you.